What is up guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to convert a games on demand version of a game to the ISO version of the game. And the reason for this is a lot of people are now using uh, games on demand versions because of Microsoft point spoofing on stealth servers. A lot of stealth servers provide Microsoft point spoofing so a lot of people get their games from the marketplace now which is the games on demand version. And when you get it from the marketplace uh, you're not able to do a lot of the things you can do with an ISO version so that is why we want to convert it from God to ISO and it's much harder really to get the ISO versions of the games now as well because of you know normally you have to download it through a torrent site or something like that or through premium links that you have to pay for so most people are just getting the games from Microsoft point spoofing okay so the first thing I suppose I need to talk about is how um, or why you would want to convert it to the ISO version of the game because a lot of people say the God version is better anyway so why convert it to the ISO version there's a few reasons you might want to convert it to an ISO version now one reason is that you can't really launch the game through neighborhood so if you want to remotely launch the game through neighborhood normally you would just go into if it was the ISO version of the game you would go into your external hard drive or wherever you're store, you've stored the extracted ISO. Um, I'm going to use Black Ops 1 for the example. And then you would just scroll down until you find the default.xex or np.xex. Double click it and you can run it. Simple as that. You can also run it from within xex menu and freestyle dashes file manager and all that kind of stuff as well. Which makes it really useful when you have the ISO version. Whereas if you have the games on demand version then the storage location for that would be your retail hard drive emulation or if you install it on a USB stick then it would be in a USB stick and then you'd be looking for the content folder and then the folder with all the zeros and then you need to know what the title ID is of the game so the title ID for Black Ops 1 is 415-60855 but if you don't know then the easiest way is to just hop on Xbox Unity and just search for the game in Xbox Unity and it will tell you the title ID right here. So when you know your title ID you can double click that and then the games on demand version of the game will be in the folder that has the seven in the middle. So four zeros then seven then three zeros. That's the folder where the games on demand version is always stored. And then in here you've got all the files for the game. But as, because they're all compressed into these data files you can't launch the game through uh, neighborhood, which kind of sucks. So that's one reason you might want to convert it to the ISO. The other reason is that certain mods, if you want to mod the game, it's kind of more difficult to mod it on the games on demand version. Yes, you can still use RTE mods, real time editing mod tools will work with the games on demand version. Um, so will mods where you um, have to install a plugin, like say it's a mod menu. Uh, .xex file that you have to add as a plugin in Dash Launch. That will work with the Games On Demand version, but there's other forms of modding that you won't be able to do on a Games On Demand version, such as modified xex files um, or modified xex files that launch .dll files that apply mods, or um, also like GSC loaders and stuff like that. All of that causes issues on games on demand version or you're going to have trouble getting them to work or they're not going to work at all on a games on demand version. So those are the reasons why you might want to convert it to a ISO version. So I've showed you guys how you can locate your games on demand version. It's in the content folder, then the folder with all the zeros, then the title ID of the game, and then the folder with the seven in the middle. That's where your games on demand version is. So all you want to do is go ahead and extract uh, the 0007000 folder. So go ahead and extract this to your computer, whether or not you do that over neighborhood or with FTP, or if you plug in a USB stick and copy the game over that way. And I already have it on here, as you can see, I've put it in a folder with 007000. We've got that in there, the game's on demand version. So once you have it extracted to your computer, the next step is to go ahead and run GOG to ISO. Again, all the download links you'll need will be linked in the description. You need to add them. Head to, head to the location where you have the GOG version saved. And the file you want, you don't want to go into this folder that has all the data files. You want to select th this file right here. It's only 44 kilobytes. 
So you want to select this one and that will add that in there. Then I'll ask for the output directory, so just give it a folder to save it to. So I've selected my Black Ops 1 ISO folder that I'm going to be putting the output to. Then check the box to fix create ISO good broken header. And once you've done that, just click go. And it'll start converting it into a .iso. You can already see the ISO being added into that folder right there. And I'll be back with you guys as soon as this is transferred. Okay guys, so as you can see it's finished. Once it's finished you can just close out and you'll now have a .iso file inside the folder that you selected. So now what I'm going to do is create a new folder. Call this Black Ops 1 Extracted. So the next thing we have to do is open the ISO itself and then extract it just like we would do if we had downloaded the ISO. Um, so one thing I've noticed is that Xbox Image Browser an Xbox Backup Creator uh, are not able to open it. If I try and open this, it will give me an error saying that it's unable to determine Xbox disk type. Again, I'm not entirely sure if this will happen with you guys as well. I think it might be something to do with downloading the Games On Demand version from Xbox Live versus um, creating the Games On Demand version with ISO to God, which is what I use to make this Black Ops 1 Games On Demand version in the first place. I, I used ISO to God to make it rather than downloading it from Xbox Live itself. So perhaps if you download it from Xbox Live itself then you won't get these errors. But either way, instead of using um, Xbox Backup Creator or Xbox Image Browser, I recommend using 360 MP because it does work fine with this application even if you created your games on demand version with ISO to God, which would kind of defeat the purpose of this, of changing it back to an ISO in the first place. But um, yeah, <laughs> anyway, so go ahead and um, select your ISO file in 360 MP and you can include system update folder if you want or game folder. I'm not going to bother doing that because I've already created a new folder called Black Ops 1 Extracted, which is where I'm going to be extracting these um, the ISO file to. So once you've loaded that in, you select the output folder. So I've selected my Black Ops 1 Extracted uh, folder. And then all you do is just simply select uh, Extract ISO. And then all you have to do is wait. So if you open up Black Ops 1 Extracted, you'll see the raw files being added in right here. There's our mp.xex and our default.xex. And that means we now have the actual game files themselves. And Another thing, um, another reason why you might want to do this, especially with older games, is because if you're modding older games, a lot of the older Call of Duty games particularly, a lot of mods for those games back in the day used um, were, were actually modified game files. So it's the actual like .ff files that were modded, I remember. Um, back with World at War ISO mods and stuff back in the day. It was like the common.ff file that you would modify or the code post file you would modify. Um, and then with like Modern Warfare 2 and uh, COD 4 and World at War, multiplayer mods were all done through a patch mp.ff uh, with a modified default.xdx. So yeah, uh, that's f especially for older games, it's, it's much better to have the actual extracted ISO um, so it's easier to mod rather than a games on demand version. With newer games it's not so much of a problem because games like GTA use plugins and dash launch to um, inject mod menus into your game and real-time editing mod tools as well. So for those newer games it's not as necessary but it's I still find it's better to have the actual games, uh, the actual extracted files for the games because you can also do stuff like modify the the intro and backgrounds and all that kind of stuff as well. Okay and when it finishes it will give you a little notification and you can close out of that and that's it we've got the extracted game file so all you have to do now is copy our extracted ISO folder into uh, the console whether you do that through neighborhood which would be slow as hell or whether you go ahead and do it through um, by copying this onto an external hard drive or copy it onto a USB um, or transfer it through uh, FTP totally up to you but all you'd have to do is drag this folder onto your console or get it somewhere where your console can run it and you'll have you'll be able to run the game through the extracted game files 
and then to get rid of the games on demand version all you have to do i mean you could go into the file manager on the console itself and just delete it from within system and storage on the console or you can literally just delete this folder now that you have the extracted iso version so that's it guys that's how you um convert a games on demand version to the extracted iso version of the game and of course you can also now launch uh the game through neighborhood through the .xtx files so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video or you found the information useful if you did go ahead and leave it a like i really do appreciate that subscribe if you haven't subscribed already comment if you have any questions and i'll hopefully see you guys in the next video Shuffling